With the hole in the roof and all, we come to you from Texas Stadium, where the fans are eagerly anticipating today's game. Thanks for joining us. These two teams are ready to go, and it should be a great one, as the Falcons get set to take on the Cowboys. Welcome to the game. Al Michaels and John Madden here broadcasting live. So pull up a chair and relax because this is going to be a good one. You talk about a quarterback who can lead his team to victory. This guy has all the tools you look for. Great arm, pocket presence, and the ability to hit a receiver anywhere on the field. There's not too many like this guy. And we could see him put up big numbers in this one. Fearless Price makes a great target for him every game. I think most people in the league like to think that he's deceptively fast. That allows him to sneak past the defense for big games. Now, whether or not he'll be able to against this defense is something we'll be paying a lot of attention to. And you can tell that defense is fired up and ready to go. I don't think we should keep him waiting any longer. A much-anticipated game ready to begin as we're lined up for the kickoff. Will be kicking off. Will be kicking off to start the game. Number 49. Not a bad kick. They'll set up for the return. From the six. The offense is heading out onto the field for their first drive of the game. The backs are lined up in an eye. At the 23 yard line. First and 10. I saw you. Snake eyes. Huh. Huh. Left. Yeah. Huh. Driving back to pass on first down. Gets rid of it. This one falls incomplete. That incomplete pass brings up second down. On the cover. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own twenty-three. Carries it for six yards on that play. Gain of six on the play. Third and three. Ball on the 30-yard line. Hutchinson sets up. Tosses it left. Couldn't even get out of the backfield. This defense is extremely active and effective up front. They do a good job of getting upfield quickly, creating havoc in the backfield. Misdirection plays and draws can be a good way to use their speed and aggressiveness against them. Unable to get anything going on that series, they'll have to punt it away here. Here's the punt. He's waving for the fair catch. The offense just about ready to call their first play of the game. Mike Vick, one of the best and most exciting quarterbacks in the league, and he has a great arm, is excellent at reading the defense. The other thing he's got is patience, which is one of the underrated qualities in a quarterback. Having a good arm doesn't mean a whole lot. You have to try and muscle the ball into double coverage. It's the toss to the right. Gain of a couple on that carry. Gain of two on the play. Melissa, is there an update? I caught up with the head coach as his team was coming out of the tunnel. And he said there are no easy games in the NFL. And this one is no different. It's going to be a tough game. But his guys are well prepared, and they think they'll be able to pull it off. Now, Thanks, Melissa. Again with the carry. About three yards on the draw. coming has room. the 50 and he slides down to avoid the hit right here is how he can hurt you they get him in a third down situation and if they can give him a lane to run through he's going to take it and right there he takes it for a big first down
So they have first and ten here. Done. The lone setback using motion. There's a flag on the play. Dead ball. Let's start on the offense. Looks like he was rocking on the line on that play. That's one of the worst kinds of penalty. The guy has to do a better job concentrating. So now it's first and 15 after the penalty. Under pressure, spins it to the outside. Two yard gain. Gain of two on the play. The Falcons come out with four wide receivers lined up tight. Drops back, and he'll get the call. Missed tackle. Missed tackle. Running back picks up about four yards. And they'll face a long third down here. Ball on the 41 yard line. Stepping up, closing in, going deep, looking for something in the end zone. Drops the interception. Thought he had something deep, but couldn't get that one to the receiver. Fourth down. He'll try to pin them close to the goal line. Here's the kick. Fair catch called for. No return here. Back it comes to the 20. Only one man back. Galloway moves in motion. Pressure with the pass, incomplete. He felt the pressure and got rid of the ball. And that's a right decision in that case. Get rid of the ball and take the incomplete. Hambrick, the lone back. Gets the toss to the right. Lost about a yard. They'll be faced with a long third down play here. Ball on their own 17. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Pressure coming with the throw. Intercepted. The defender makes a leaping interception. He just stepped in front of that one. He saw his opportunity, and boom, he took it. Following the interception, it's now first and ten. Driving back to pass on first down. Under pressure. He wanted to make something happen there. Yeah, and the defense was patient and he didn't let him get the first. Second and eight. Ball on the 18 yard line. Thinner in motion. Very little blocking to work with on that play. Yeah, that's just great play from the defense. They play with great leverage up front and always seem to get penetration. When you have defenders in the backfield, it makes it very difficult to run or pass. It's third down and they have a long way to go. Ball on the 21-yard line. Dallas comes out in the dive package. Ball on the 21-yard line. 
Dropping back. Rowan just going the other way. Mitchell demonstrated great ability here. The defense had everything covered up pretty well there. I'm not surprised that this one was a turnover. So after the interception now, it's first and ten. Hamburg, the lone back. Man in motion. First and ten. Take it out. Hand it off to the back. And he's tackled at the 14. The running back gets about three. The backs are lined up in an eye. Closing in, Rosen comes up with it. He has room to the 20, the 40, across midfield, the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Cowboys. An amazing play that goes the distance. I'll tell you, when he got into the open, there wasn't anyone who was going to catch him. That just shows the quick strike the ability right. these guys have. They can put up points from anywhere on the field. Kunda comes in for the extra point. The kick is up. The point after is good. What can you say about a drive that goes so far in so little time? Their execution was almost perfect. The reward, a touchdown. They sure did, but the guys on this defense are professional. When they get out there again, I have a feeling this will just add to the fire in their bellies. And the kickoff team comes out onto the field. Decent kick. We should have a return. From the three. The Falcons will start the drive from the 19-yard line. First and ten. Ball on their own 19. Picked up nine on the play. Nine yard gain on the play. Throw it up. Stay after. Huh? Going to the left. Gain of about a yard there. So after that run, we can see how the two main threats on the ground have fared so far. Clean shot at the ball carrier, but they didn't finish the play and ended up costing them a first down. First and ten. Ball on the 31 yard line. Let's go. Come on. Get in there. Vic sets up. Hand off to the tailback. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Seven yards to go. Ball on their own 34. Bust his grill, deep. Pressure with the pass. Catch. Crumpet was there to make the catch for the first down. He's glad he made that catch. I'm sure the quarterback will look his way again when he needs another first down. First and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. Got the ball. Throwing on first down. So they'll lose yardage on that tackle. Couldn't escape the pass rush. They gotta find a way to give him a little more time back there. The defense was in man coverage, so he had some options out there in the secondary. He just didn't have the time to decide where he wanted to go with it.
Now in second and long after the sack. Dunn, the lone back. Vic with a man in motion. On the 48 yard line. Crosses it out to the left. Pickup of about six yards. Gain of six on the play. Surveys the field, gets rid of it, it's caught, and he steps out of bounds at the 24-yard line. You talk about great concentration. Watch it. He's able to keep his feet in bounds, make the catch on a perfectly placed pass. First and ten. Ball on the 24-yard line. Done. The lone setback. Vic sends a man in motion. He'll get the call again. Four-yard gain there. On the run. Gain of four on the play. Second and five. Ball on the 19-yard line. Set. Again in the run. One yard gain by the running back. One yard gain on the play. Inside the red zone. Steps up into the pocket with the throw. They have the momentum here. They're darn near unstoppable on third down. They've just been calling the right plays at the right time. First and goal. Ball on the nine yard line. Set. Pressure coming. Slings it to the outside. And he stopped at the six. Game of three. So it's second and goal. Ball on the six yard line. Thirteenth play of this drive. Crumpler. The man in motion. Give it all you got, dude. Come on. Done. Touchdown, Falcons. Great rushing touchdown there. He tucked that ball away, lowered his head, and boom, end zone. Kicker lines up for the point after. And it's on its way. The extra point attempt is good. And obviously they're happy with that drive, especially since they ended it with a touchdown. You see the way those guys walked off the field, kind of had their heads down? The offense is just dominating them out there. Here's the kickoff the team. Is, is lined up for the kickoff. Number 80. Sends it still. From the eight-yard line. The offense with a lot of success through the air on the last drive as they move downfield for the touchdown. The lone back. Ball on the 22-yard line. Good pickup of about six. The 
The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Cross play to the left. The back picks up about two on that carry. Gain of two on the play. Third and two coming up here. Ball on their own 31. Drops back. Throwing. And it's intercepted. He's at the 20. The 10. Five. Touchdown, Atlanta. Buchanan went up to get that one. The quarterback telegraphed that one. So they're trying to tack on the extra point. And it's up. The extra point attempt is good. And the kickoff team comes out onto the field. And this one's a short kickoff. From the nine. The last drive ended with an interception. So let's see what happens as they take over again. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Off to the tailback, the 30. Can't bring it. They blitz in the back spot. Yeah, that's a chance you take. You're hoping to get some penetration and hit him in the backfield. But if you miss, there isn't a lot of help at the next level to keep him from picking up the first down. It's first and ten. Ball on their Let's own go, 39. Go. Let's go, come on. They'll go first from the eye formation. Ball on the third and on first down. With the pass, perfect throw. That'll move the chains, John. Yeah, when you put together a great pass with a heck of a catch, that's exactly what you're going to get. to the left. The halfback gets the toss, picks up about two. Nine yards to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. And he's walked down in the backfield. Quarterback scramble on that play, John. And that's a good way to get your quarterback injured. I don't know what they're thinking here. Right. Split back this time. 13. Ball on the 45 yard line. Under pressure, gets rid of it. This one falls incomplete. Mathis made a great defensive play, tipping the pass away. He has to do a better job of looking off the coverage before he makes a throw like that.
He'll try to pin them inside the 10. Here's the punt. And so the punt goes out of bounds. So they have first and 10 here. Ball on their own 24. To the tailback and he's brought down at the 28 yard line four maybe five yards on that carry only one man in the backfield ball on the 28 yard line they give it to the halfback Good gain on the ground gives them what they needed for a first. That's just good running. They sent a couple of blitzes in to try and stop him in the backfield, but he just broke free and got past the sticks for a first down. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 37. Another run. The back picks up about two on that carry. Gain of two on the play. The Cowboys come out in a nickel pack on the 39 yard line. Edwards showed he could do more than just cover on that one. Yeah, he sure did. When you get a corner who will come out like that on run support, it makes the offensive coordinators think twice on those runs to the outside. And they'll face a long third down here. Ball on their own 38. The Cowboys come out with three down linemen on seven defensive backs. Drops back, looking for a receiver. Good play call by the defensive coordinator. He knows exactly how to take advantage of his personnel. He always puts them in position to make big plays out there, whether it's rushing the quarterback or playing in pass coverage downfield. Moore will come into this game to punt. Swinton looks like he's ready for the return. Here's the punt. He has a lot of open field here. A nice return there. That was good blocking. The returner was able to find some open space and make the most of it. Only one man back. Hutchinson sets up. Crossplay to the right. Loss of a round two. Man in motion. Closing in. They got to him just as he released the ball. He went down very hard after getting that pass away. Yeah, he had to get rid of the ball in a hurry. Third down and long coming up here. Ball on the 48 yard line. Using motion. Dropping back, pressure, gets the pass off. The pass falls incomplete. That incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. So they'll line up the punt after going three and out. Here's the kick. From the 15. 
He had some room but couldn't get that one block to let him go the distance. One or two more blocks would have sprung him. The backs are lined up in an eye. Ball on the 30-yard line. It's the toss to the left. Done. Couldn't get out of the backfield. That was just a defensive line getting lower than the offensive line. When your defensive guys up front can control the line of scrimmage, it makes it very difficult to move the ball on offense. It's second down and a long way to go. Ball on their own 30. Throws out to the left. This one falls incomplete, so he can't come up with it. No receiver's perfect, so we'll even see the best ones drop a few. But the key word is a few. Dallas comes out with seven in the secondary. Vick sets up, using motion. Rolls left with the pass. The pass was incomplete. That pass was right there, but he was unable to hang on. That's the type of pass that you've got to be able to hang on to. Swinton back to return. Here's the punt. And this punt will sail out of bounds. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 38. Hutchinson gets set. Man in motion. Throwing on first down. Hambrick. Down he goes at the 48. So let's take a look at how this back compares to the opposition. They'll go from the I formation. Ball on the 48 yard line. And he stopped at midfield. So they pick up enough to convert for the first down. First and ten. Give it all you got. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Pass play here on first down. Pressure coming with the pass. Can't bring him down. Campbell catches a floater for the first down. And it's a good thing he caught it. You don't want to drop those passes in a sure first down. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Dropping back to pass on first down. Well played. Hammer couldn't pick up any blocking on that play. The defense is always very aggressive when defending the run. They're extremely disciplined. They get off their blocks very quickly. Makes it tough to find openings when you're running the ball. A touchdown is the difference between these two teams as we end the first quarter with the score. Atlanta 14. Dallas 7. And we're ready to start the second quarter. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Drops back. They'll go to the run once again. And he stopped at the 31. Pickup of about a yard in the run. Nickelback in this time. Ball on the 31 yard line. With the throw, grabs your target pass. Watch it here. This is a great call on third down to keep this drive alive. They were in a tough spot here, but this is a heck of a throw and catch to pick up that first down. So they have first and ten here. Ball on the 19-yard line. 
the toss to the right. Hammer couldn't find an opening and was brought down very quickly. Yeah, he was. This line has to do a better job of holding up at the point of attack. He has a fast first step. He can explode through the hole. But he needs a line to create that little crease or cutback lane to break free. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Throws it over the middle. John, he's hurt. We'll get an update from Melissa as soon as the extent of the injury is known. First and goal. Ball on the five yard line. He gets the carry. Under pressure. Incomplete. The pass incomplete in the end zone. Second down. So it's second and goal. Ball on the five yard line. They'll go from the I formation. Second and goal. Hamber was stuffed on that play, John. They're just relentless when the offense decides to run the ball. They break down blocks very quickly. And they do a good job maintaining their gap assignments, limiting cutback opportunity. This is it. Stay guys. Man, no, no. Take them out. Mark sets up. Drops back. Closing in. Touchdown. Down. Touch the ball to the receiver for the touchdown. That was a great pass by the quarterback. He delivered that ball where only his receiver could make the catch. They'll get set for the extra point. And it's on its way. And the extra point is good. It really wore them down on that drive. A lot of plays in scrimmage, and they finished it with a trip to the end zone. Anytime you can keep the defense on the field for that many plays and keep the chains moving, you're doing something right. Not only do you put points in the board, but you also wear down that defense. Here's the kickoff, please. Is lined up for the kickoff. Number 80. Nice kick. Plenty of distance. From the seven-yard line. Nothing happened for the offense on their last drive as they went three and out. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. First and ten. Here come the heat. The ball, the ball. Yeah. Uh, wasn't able to get anything going on that play. They got there and shut that play down very quickly. That's just a case of studying game film this week paying off. When you know what they like to run in certain situations, you can anticipate the play call and stop the play before it even gets started. Vic gets set. Off and run. Watch. Now the key to this first down was the fact that the defense lost containment on the quarterback. He's out there running around, and that time it got him a first down. The backs first are lined up in an eye. Ball on the 35-yard line. The Falcons using motion. Looking for room. Number 38. Couldn't find any room on that one. They really hustle on the defensive side of the ball. They're very good at clogging up the line, limiting the number of holes and cutback lanes that the back has to choose from. It's second down and 10 to go. Second and 10. Dropping back. Pressure. Rowing. Little off target with Roy. And he stopped at the 40 yard line.
Vic sets up. Drops back. Slings this one. This pass is incomplete. Fourth down. Upcoming after that incomplete pass. Swinton sets up to run back the punt. Here's the punt. He signals for a fair catch. There was no need to try and return that one. So he made the right decision there. First and ten. All on the 25-yard line. Using motion to the air on first down. Gets rid of it. He hits his receiver. He was on the receiving end of that bullet. Soft hands like that are hard to find. This guy looks like he's a keeper. Second and three coming up here. Ball on their own 32. The Cowboys using motion. And they go with the delay. Just about a yard of the run. So let's take a look at how this back compares to the opposition. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. On the 33-yard line. Come on, get up. They got nothing. Hutchinson gets set. Crosses it right. It's a fumble. The back in time. Great play by the defense to recover the fumble. Yeah, they were right there to jump on the ball. Following the turnover now, it's first and ten. Clearly a big momentum shift could be in the making as we take a look at a possible fumble. And they really had no choice but to challenge it because of what it could mean for both teams. I don't know. It's a tough call from seeing that angle. After a ruling play, the ruling on the field is overturned. No talent will be charged to Dallas. And that challenge was a good decision as the call is overturned. Well, sometimes the official sees what you see, and sometimes he sees something else. But this time, everyone could see the call had to be changed. Russell sets up, waiting for the punt. Here's the kick. Fair catch goal for him. That's a good job of getting downfield by the cover team to force a fair catch. First and ten. Ball on their own 23. The back picks up about two on that carry. the toss to the right. Great play in the backfield. You may want to dump that play, John. Yeah, that's what this defense will do to you. They're so good in pursuit that if you start trying to go east and west in the backfield, you're in trouble. I try and run the ball right at them. That'll negate the speed that these guys have to the outside. Dallas comes out with seven in the secondary. Drops back. Passing right. How about that speed? Great individual effort. He throws lasers all over the field. He can throw them short. He can throw them long. He can throw them medium. He can throw them anyway. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 42. Get off again. Running back picks up about four yards. Only one man in the backfield. Ball on the 46-yard line. 
He'll get it again. Gain of a couple on that count. Third and four. Ball on their own 48. Start getting some extra attention now that he has two sacks. Just when they thought he was done, he goes and gets another one. Swinton is back to receive this kick. Here's the punt. He takes the punt and has some room to run. And the offense getting ready to come back on the field after a decent return. You're told to get as much as you can on a return, and that's just what he did. They'll take over at the 30-yard line. First and 10. Hutchinson sets up. Drops back. Pressure coming. Rowing. A lot of room to work with. And he's brought down at the 40. Galloway ran a nice round on that pass play. These days, offenses rely on a short, quick pass, and the receiver gaining lots of yards after the catch. It's second down and one to go. Ball on their own 40. Come on, Fred. We'll see. Under pressure with the throw. Almost got it. I thought that was about to be picked off, John. Yeah, I think everyone else was thinking the same thing. We don't get a better chance at an interception than he had right there. Hamber lines up behind his fullback in the eye. He hands it off. Gets rid of it. This one falls incomplete. Buchanan got a hand up and tipped that pass away. He needs to do a better job putting the pass in a spot where only his guy can get it. Those tip passes can turn into interceptions pretty easily. Cohen lines up in the backfield for the punt. Russell in the return. From the 25-yard line, pushes off. He didn't have much to work with, but still got away a decent return. Hey, even if it doesn't seem like much, positive yards on a return is better than nothing. Drops back. Closing in. And he stopped at the 38-yard line. Well, he took matters into his own hands. And with some quarterbacks, you got to watch out that they don't take off on you. Everyone has to be aware. That gets set, using motion. Into the open field. He takes that one and heads upfield to pick up the first down. You know what they did was pick up a blitz, and when they did that, it opened up a hole, and they ran right through it. The Falcons come out with three receivers tight. With the pass, it's his receiver in stride. How about that speed? Great individual effort. Not only did the quarterback show off his strong arm, but the receiver displayed some amazingly soft hands. A great throw with an even better catch is always an easy way to pick up first down. Bring the pain. Back off, DB. Give it all you got, D. Come on. Done. The lone setback. He decided to tuck it in rather than trying to force the pass and has done a nice job when he's made that decision today. They're within striking distance here. Get up, Come on, 
pressure with the throw. Catch made on the run. This offense having no trouble moving the ball on this drive. Yeah, and this defense is having a lot of trouble stopping them. They can't seem to key on what they're doing and put an end to this drive. They line up in the I formation. Ball on the 16-yard line. Side on the sideline. Stay down. Sit. Hands it off to the back. Gain of a couple on that carry. Gain of two on the play. Eight to go. Let's go. Come on. Stick up. They'll go from the I formation. Ball on the 15 yard. Flings it to the outside. This one falls incomplete. No one there that time. Now it's third down after the incompletion. Only one man back. Drops back. Steps up into the pocket. Gunning this one to the end zone. Touchdown, Falcon. Big time catch in the end zone, John. Boy, how did he break free? I think they just lost track of him running around back there. I bet you they keep a better eye on him the next time they get down here near the goal line. Six. Feely comes in to attempt the point after. The kick is up. The point after is good. Well, John, these teams are very evenly matched. This makes for a better game, I think. The strategy of the game comes into play here more. And so they turn that drive into a great one as it ends with a touchdown. The thing that most impressed me about that last drive was the offensive line. They did a good job controlling the line of scrimmage, keeping their quarterback healthy and on his feet. A strong offensive line is the first and most important component to an effective offense. The kickoff team lines up. Number 80, back to return. And a short kickoff. From the 13-yard line. The offense couldn't get anything going on their last drive, going three and out. First and 10. Ball on their own 31. Going to the air on first down. Slings it to the outside. They can't complete that short pass, and it's second down. Right. Only one man back. Hands it off the back. Great play in the backfield by Johnson. He couldn't get anything going through the middle. You know, it was because the defense filled all the gap. The back was looking for a place to run, but by bringing the run blitz, they took away all the gap. He went down for a loss. Here is a third and long situation. Ball on their own 29. Drops back. Rowing. The pass ball's incomplete. McBride displayed excellent anticipation. He's got great recovery speed, and he can catch up to the ball even if he's caught out of position. That time he was right there in the secondary to tip the ball away. From the 37, the 40, the 30. He had an outstanding return. Sometimes as a coverage team, it's easy to over pursue. And if you do that, you end up running right by the guy you're supposed to be tackling. The backs are lined up in an eye. At the 21 yard line. First and 10. Dropping back and pass on first down. With the pass, a little behind, but he has it. That could have knocked the wind out of the receiver with that first down throw. Now that's a quick release. The quarterback decided where he wanted to go with it, 
And boom, it was in the receiver's hand. So it's second and goal. Eight yards to the goal line. Again with the carry. They'll bring him down at the seven. Only a yard by the halfback. Dallas looks like they're playing the pass as they're lined up in the dive. Pressure coming, throws it, nearly intercepted. Incredulous, he let that one go right through his hands. Yeah, you're not talking about a receiver either. That was about as close as you can get to an interception. He's got to make the play, especially down here in the end zone. Feeling. He's heading onto the field for this field goal attempt. And it's up. The attempt is good. Here's the kickoff team. He has lined up for the kickoff. Number nice kick and returnable. From the six. So the offense takes over. The last time they had the ball, they had a very tough time getting anything going. All right, first and ten. Ball on their own 26. Hutchinson gets set. Under pressure. This one falls incomplete. Got it off just before they got to him. Line has to do a better job of protection, or they're going to get their quarterback killed. The Falcons come out in a nickel package. Picks up maybe three on that carry. Two yard gain on the play. They need seven. Ball on their own 29. Closing in. Slings it to the outside. Wiley did a nice job bringing that one in. Yep, the quarterback lobbed it in there and let his receiver do the hard work. So as we get set for the punt, let's take a look at our returner's stats. This punt will be his seventh of the day. Here's the punt. Fields the punt and has some open field. Good return there. That could have been a real big one. Hey, he showed some good vision there. You have to see the entire field in an instant and just take off towards the open field. Got him a nice return for their team. Big a threat running as he is passing. And that's the key. You have to keep him in the pocket. If he gets outside the pocket and starts running around making things happen, this guy's going to hurt you. They'll go from the I formation. Ball on the 39 yard line. That gets set. To the air on first down. Pressure with the pass. Turns. He has it. That powerful arm brings them a first down this time. Yeah, and you talk about putting some heat on your throws. This guy really let it go.
First and ten. Bring the pain. Done. A five-yard pickup on that one by the tailback. Six. Ball on the 17-yard line. That sets up. There he goes. He's inside the tent. He won't risk trying for more. Watch. Now, the key to this first down was the fact that the defense lost containment on the quarterback. He's out there running around, and that time, it got him a first down. It's first and goal. Ball on the five-yard line. Ain't got nothing. Hand off to the tailback. Four, maybe five yards on that carry. Gain of four on the play. Second and goal. Ball on the one-yard line. You got it. Sixth play of this drive. Touchdown, Falcons. Now, this is exactly how to get the ball in the end zone. Just get in behind the center and guard and keep pushing and pushing until they're putting up six points on the board. The kicker lines up for the point after. And it's on its way, and the extra point is good. Another drive leads to another score, and they're really clicking now. This is going to be a very long day for this defense. This defense has a solid core of players. They just don't seem to be playing very well in this one. They still have to go, and maybe they can turn things around. But they have to find a way to swing the momentum in their favor. And the kickoff team comes out onto the field. Number 80. Nice distance. From the 10. Can't bring him down. The offense takes over after they were three and out on their last possession. First and 10. Ball on their own 30. The 10, 5, touchdown Falcons. Buchanan did a good job reading the quarterback on that one. The quarterback never even tried to look the defender off his receiver. They'll get set for the extra point. The kick is up. The point after is good. Great run. 24 straight points. They've really been playing some good football lately. They finally seem to have it all put together. Kickoff team Michael lines up. Lined up for the kickoff. Number 29. Short kick. He didn't get much of that one. From the 11-yard line. The Cowboys have their work cut out for them as they take over at the 24-yard line. Hamra is the deep back, using motion to the air on first down. Pressure coming, throwing. 
Kearns, he has it. He did a nice job bringing that one in. Yeah, either that or it just got thrown in there so hard it stuck. Quarterback back in the shotgun. Ball on the 27 yard line. Drops back, steps up with the pass. Overthrown, leading to an incompletion. A little less arm in the ball could have helped. If they're thinking the defense might bring the blitz, a good way to counter that is with a screen. And that could be the call here. Gets rid of it. He has some room. And it's caught. Looks like they'll go with a hurry up here. Under pressure, throwing. He finds his man. Atlanta calls a timeout. They have two remaining. That won't help them. I don't think that was part of the game plan. We're guessing they're going to just throw it and do their best to move into scoring range since they don't want to go into the half with the score the way it is. First and a long way to go. Ball on their own 31. They'll pass on first down. Closing in. Great play in the backfield. Kearney showed great moves in pursuit of the quarterback. And that's just the kind of pressure they like to see generated up front. They got off when the ball was snapped, and the offensive line just couldn't step up fast enough. They'll need a good pickup here to make their way further downfield, or they'll have to face a third down situation. Hambrick, the lone back. Ball on the 25 yard line. Dropping back. Pressure. Gets rid of it. And he makes the grab. Bryant did a nice job of getting to that pass. Yeah, we saw him running those quick pass plays in practice. Hey, if the coach has confidence in his quarterback, they'll probably throw for it. But he looks at the big picture and sees what could go wrong. He may just run it and send out his punt team. Man in motion. The Falcons call a timeout. They have one timeout left. He's got the workout today. He's now coming to punt in times. He's waving for the fair catch. The offense is back on the field after that last touchdown drive. Let's see if they try to move the ball on the ground again. Hey, I know they want to increase the lead before half, but they got to be careful and not let the other team back in it with a turnover. Pressure coming. The officials are signaling that he grabbed the face mask. Sometimes the defender will do whatever it takes to get a guy down. This time he got caught pulling him down by the mask. Now whoever makes a catch here has to remember to get out of bounds. Rosen. Perfect pass, great catch, and that'll move the chain. 11 yard gain on the play. So they have first and ten here. Ball on their own 41. The Falcons call a timeout. That's their last one. Here's a spot we're trying to add to the lead before the half can backfire. 
All it takes is one mistake, and it could be the defense that's scoring. That's why the quarterback has to throw it hard to the sidelines so that no one can jump the pass and pick it off. Pass play here on first down. Looking for a receiver with the throw. Picked off. He's on the run. At the 30. Singleton did a good job reading the quarterback on that one. The quarterback never even tried to look the defender off his receiver. We need to watch the guys up front on this play. They're going to be passing. And the best thing the defense can do here is to get some pressure on the quarterback. To either throw a pick or taking him down for the sack. Throwing. He finds his man. Touchdown, Dallas. Chad Hutchins has now thrown for two touchdowns. It appears the coach wants to go for two. They're blitzing under pressure with the pass, and he hits his target. So they get the touchdown, and now the two. And the kickoff team comes out onto the field. Decent kick. We should have a return. From the four-yard line. Looks like there's a penalty on the play. Price held him up. The rule on the hold is you can't let your hands go to the outside of the body. If your hands do move outside, then you have to move them back in as soon as you can, or you'll get called for holding. of the second quarter with the score Atlanta 38 Dallas 22 Dallas 22 Let's take a look at our halftime stats Kickoff team lines up. Not a real deep kick. Should be returned. From the 13. The Falcons will start this drive from the 25. So they have first and 10 here. Ball on their own 25. First and 10. Ball on a 25 yard. Dropping back the pass on first down. Closing in. Room to run. The 40. Give him some room to run. He'll do exactly that and pick up a first down. And as a defense, with that kind of run, you can do everything right and still be wrong. I mean, it's a rough thing to stop the quarterback when he starts doing things like that. They'll go from the eye formation. Ball on the 46 yard line. Set. Get in there, line. 
Pass play here on first down. Pressure. A lot of space in front of him. Vick slides in there feet first. The quarterback packed it in and decided to scramble. Making sure the other team respects the run when the ball is in the quarterback's hands is important. You want to make sure that he doesn't try and do it too much, though, and get injured on the play. First and ten. Done. Four-yard gain there. Vick sets up. Cross play to the right. Done. Was dragged down before he could get to the line of scrimmage. They have great size and quickness up front. That allows him to hold up against the run while also giving them the speed to rush the passer when they drop back the pass. Set. Drops back. Pressure coming. Gets the pass off. Vick lofted the ball to his receiver. That was a great decision by the quarterback. He laid it up there, and he gave his receiver a chance to run under it for the reception. So this will be a 48-yard attempt from the 38-yard line. And it's on its way. Splits the uprights, and good. Three more points added to the board with that successful kick, his second so far. Dantzler, he's back for the kickoff as we take a quick glance at his return numbers. Feely is back and ready to put this one in the air. Back to return. Good distance. From the 10. Missed tackle. Pulls him. Been a rough start to this game, but they still have enough time to turn it around. First and 10. Ball on their own 28. Set. Hutchinson gets set. Bryant moves in motion. They'll pass on first down. Rolling out to his right. Throwing. And the catch is made. He zipped that one right in there. That's just a great job by the receiver. Not only was he able to make the catch in the rocket, but he was able to pick up some nice yardage, too. They'll go from the I formation. Slings it across the middle. Picked off. This defense having a great day today, their third interception of the game. So they have first and 10 here. Ball on the 45 yard line. To carry it. Woodson got very good penetration there. Done. Couldn't escape the pursuit and was cut down quickly. These guys up front are very tough to block because they can use their size and strength to get excellent leverage on running plays. Sometimes they struggle a little with their consistency, but they always seem to be a big factor when the game's on the line. Second and ten. The linebacker knifes in there and levels the quarterback. you got to love the way this guy plays. He's got a motor that's always been running. And after a while, that'll start to wear down his offensive lineman. It's now third and long after the sack. Dallas comes out in the quarter defense. On the 47-yard line. Dropping back with the throw. This one falls incomplete. We've updated our turnover stat, and it looks like this.
Moore is looking for a good punt here. Here's the kick. And a fumble. The Falcons scoop it up. The backs are lined up in an eye. Ball on the nine yard line. Sideline to sideline. Cross play to the left. And he stopped at the eight yard line. So let's take a look at how this back compares to the opposition. Second and goal. They're going with a form of bunch formation here. The pass ball's incomplete. He just overthrew that one. It almost looked like he might have been trying to throw it to someone else. The Cowboys come out in a nickel pack. Under pressure for the end zone. Trying to get the ball into his receiver, but it's incomplete, and it's fourth down. This will be a 25-yard field goal attempt. The kick is up, and the kicker got all of that one. He nails that one. Three field goals today. The Falcons score again and are comfortably ahead. Feely. Aim to kick this one off. The kick should be returnable. From the eight. The Cowboys need to rebound quickly as they start this drive at the 22. To the air on first down. Closing in, so they'll lose yardage on that tackle. And that's the first time he reached the quarterback today. Now in second and long after the sack. Pressure launches it deep to the left. This one falls incomplete, so he can't get it to him. I wonder if that one slipped out of his hand. It was clearly off target. Here's a third and long situation. incomplete. Ooh, what a huge hit to cause the incompletion. Yeah, it jarred that ball right out of there. So as we get set for the punt, let's take a look at our returner's stats. He's trotting out there again. Nine times now he's been called on to punt. Here's the punt. And he signals for the fair catch. Hey, no reason to take a chance and risk a fumble. Smart move there by the returner. Only one man back. The drive at the 48-yard line. First and ten. Give it all you got. Using motion. Gain of two. About eight yards. Ball on their own 39. That gets set. Man in motion. And he'll get the call. A couple, maybe three yards on that one. They'll 
go from the I formation. Set. Using motion. You got on the side, huh? 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 Pressure coming. This appears to be of the five-yard variety. I'll tell you, these face masks are getting so big that you can start off going for a jersey and end up with a handful of face masks. The ball is right at midfield. Bring that pain, Dropping back, under pressure, throws it. Incomplete. incomplete. Second down of coming after that incomplete pass. Second and ten. You got it, Set. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's rid of it. Perfect throw. <laughs> Runs through the tackle. Not a whole lot on that one. That's what bringing the blitz will do. It'll force you to make the throw before you want to. They're just lucky he didn't throw it to the other team. Out of the gun. This is the sixth play of this drive. <laughs> Throwing short to his left. Can't bring him down. The receiver did a good job bringing that pass in. Looks like someone might have blown their coverage on that one. Moore is trying to pin their offense inside the five. Here's the punt. And this punt will sail out of bounds. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 20. a terrific catch for the first down. Even the receiver was surprised how quickly that one got to him. That's the kind of thing you just hope you can hang on to as it goes by. game for the fullback. They need six. Hutchinson sets up the Cowboys using motion. With the pass. Nice adjustment. They move the sticks with that completion. I'll tell you, he put that one right on the money. They're just out there playing a little pitch and catch. Only one man in the backfield. Glenn goes in motion. Closing in, rowing. The pass ball's incomplete. Buchanan was in perfect position and knocked that pass away. He has a knack for making a big play. And that was another one right there. It's second down and ten to go. With the throw, off and run. The 20. They'll mark it at the 13-yard line. Hutchinson picks up more yardage with that throw and has almost reached the 300-yard line. Tucks it away. 
They'll bring him down at the eight. Not a four-yard gain there. And they find themselves in scoring range. Drops back. Pressure gets the pass off. He recognizes the blitz and gets the ball out for a first down. Yeah, and he saw a good matchup, and he made a heck of a throw to get the ball to his receiver. They line up in the I formation. Campbell moves in motion. Pressure coming for the end zone. Bryant did a good job getting open. Gave his quarterback a target in the end zone, but couldn't bring it in. That's got to be disappointing. There's a play they like to run when they're looking to get into the end zone. Everything seemed to work just as it did in practice, but he couldn't find a way to get it under control. Dropping back under pressure, firing the ball into the end zone. He slips behind the secondary and got open for the touchdown. Now that's just how they practiced it. They go over this play all the time in practice, and they use it a few times in just about every game. And let me tell you, most of the time it's successful just like that. Set. Tiger out. Set. Hut hut. Hut hut. Hut hut. Closing in, gets the pass off. Incomplete. And so we see this offense getting it done on that long touchdown drive. Well, football is all about trusting your teammates to make good decisions out there in the heat of the battle. When you can do that, everybody starts firing on all cylinders, and you can come up with drives like the one we just saw. Pundit yeah, is just about ready to kick this one away. Nice hit. This team has played well and had a solid first half. And now they find themselves in great position to win the game. They'll take over at the 33-yard line. First and 10. Done. Fakes the handle. What a headache for the defense. You know, that's what a mobile quarterback can do. When everything breaks down, he can run and pick up the first down for you. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 45. Gives the ball off. They'll go with a play fake. Throws it. Vic zipped that ball to his receiver. With an arm like that, there isn't a pass that he can't make. The Falcons come out in the bunch formation. On the 39-yard line. With the throw, from behind, but caught. And again, it's first and ten. Hey, they're getting a good push up front. And the receivers are getting open. They're making the catch. That's what you have to do to get in the end zone. So they have first and ten here. it off he's at the 20 he wasn't satisfied with just picking up the first down on that carry well it's apparent this guy doesn't tire out in the second half especially after seeing him run like that
first and goal. Ball on the nine yard line. Pressure throws it out over to the left. And the catch is made. Touchdown, Falcons. And he slings it in there for the touchdown. That's just a quick move by the receiver and a pass that was right on target from the quarterback. Another touchdown pass gives him two in the game. Feely comes in for the extra point. And it's on its way, and the extra point is good. Just what they were looking for, John. Good play calling there, key drive, touchdown. Hey, as an offensive coach in this league, you're always making adjustments. And hopefully you can get the defense on its heels and get it in there for the touchdown. Good job by these guys. The kickoff Atlanta team lines up. Lined up for the kickoff. Number 49. Sends it to From the 11. The Cowboys will start the drive from the 22-yard line. So they have first and 10 here. Using motion. Tosses it right. Hammer didn't get any help from his offensive line. It was just about impossible to run when you have guys in the backfield just as soon as you snap the ball. Only one man back. Ball on the 20 yard line. Lose it, lose it, set. Drops back. So they'll lose yardage on that tackle by Smith. And so he gets himself another sack right there. After the sack, they'll be looking at third and long here. The Falcons line up in the quarter defense. Interception. The pass rush had a lot to do with that interception. I tell you, you don't get a whole lot easier than that. He was right there. The quarterback makes a bad throw, and he brings it in for an interception. So after the interception now, it's first and ten. Hand it off. Four, maybe five yards on that carry. And now our viewers can see how successful each team's main running threat has been today. They need six. Ball on the 17-yard line. We'll see. Stay up. Got it. Penalty marker down in the field. Let's start on the offense. Early movement there. The offense needs to do a better job focusing. So we'll have a second and long after the penalty. The Falcons come out with four wide receivers lined up. Looking to run it here. But didn't have much to work with on that running play. That's because the defense did a good job anticipating the snap count. With an aggressive defense like this, a hard count could be an effective way to keep them off balance while trying to draw them offside. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Drops back. Pressure coming. Gets rid of it. And the catch is made. 
John he's hurt. We'll get an update from Melissa as soon as the extent of the injury is known. So it's first and goal. Ball one inch out. That gets set. Done. <laughs> Trying to find something in the middle. Nothing open. I'll tell you, the guys up front got outworked on that one. They got knocked off the line and they never recovered. Second and goal. Ball on the one yard line. Hand it off. Touchdown, Atlanta. He just got it across the goal line. It sure was. His lineman created a little push. And the back just slammed right in there and got past the goal line. So he crosses the goal line to double his rushing touchdown total. So they're trying to tack on the extra point. The kick is up. The extra point attempt is good. And so they didn't have very far to go and were able to take advantage of that and get the touchdown. I think when they took the field, they saw how close they were to the end zone. They took it upon themselves to make sure the drive got them a touchdown, not just a field goal. That's a great job by the offense to understand the situation and make the most of it. And the kickoff team comes out onto the field. Nice kick. Plenty of distance. From the six-yard line. Their last drive ended with a pick. And the offense right now ready to call their first play on this drive. First and ten. Hammer, the lone back. Hand it off. Eight yard gain. Gain of eight on the play. Second and two. Ball on the 30 yard line. Set. Under pressure. Steps up. Patrick Kearney now has two sacks in the game. The quarterback's going to want to talk to his guys and find out why they can't keep him blocked. It's third down and five to go. Ball on their own 27. The Cowboys line up with two backs behind the quarterback. Close again. And a fumble. The Falcons recover. He was trying to make something happen by himself and puts it on the ground. So it's first and ten following the fumble. Get the ball. Get, get. They're going with a form of bunch formation here. Done. Setting up play action. Mitchell stops him at the 20. After that turnover, here's how both teams are doing in that department. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. Let's go. Come on. This team has been unstoppable inside the red zone today. He's taken down in the backfield by Myers. And the blitz confused the pass protection. This defense is very good at masking what they're trying to do on defense. The guy will show blitz and he drops into coverage as a guy from the outside blitzes in his play. I'll tell you, that could make it very hard to maintain blocking assignments. Here's a third and long situation. Ball on the 21 yard line. Come on, get up. The Falcons come out with three receivers tight. Rosen, catch on the run. Center has been there over and over today, all day long. Seven catches so far. Oh. 
Feely. And the kicking team come on for this field goal attempt. And it's up. 12 points he's added to their total. His fourth field goal. The Falcons really rolling now as they continue to build their lead. Here's the Ed kickoff Atlanta team. He has lined up for the kickoff. Number 80. Good distance. From the eight. The Cowboys face an uphill battle as they begin this drive at the 26-yard line. They'll go from the I formation. Defensive line sniffed that play out beautifully. The guys along the defensive line are very big and very active. They do a good job of shedding blockers when they're rushing the passer. And they're very good at sucking up blocks, opening holes for the linebackers to make plays when the other team decides to go with the run. Drops back. Pressure. Rolling. This pass is incomplete. Buchanan got up and knocked that pass away. He has a great feel for defending the pass. And he always seems to be in great position to make a play in the ball. The Cowboys line up in the shotgun. on the 25-yard line. Looking for a receiver with the throw. He was tipped. Have a look at this big defensive lineman. He couldn't get to the quarterback, but he got his hands up and he knocked it down. So as we get set for the punt, let's take a look at our returners' stats. The offense can't get it going today, and the punter comes onto the field for the tenth time. Fair catch called for. That was a smart thing to do with the coverage team closing in for a big hit. First and ten. Ball on their own 39. Hands it off to the back. He delivers the forearm. So just about five yards there, picked up on the halfback draw. Five yard game on the play. A lot of speed on the field for the defense as they line up in the quarter. He tried to pick up the yardage himself on that play. It looked like the defense was ready for that one. They were able to stop him for a minimal gain. They need about three. Ball on their own 46. Looking to run it here. Only a yard on the halfback. Swinton will try to improve upon those numbers on this punt return. Unable to get anything going on that series, they'll have to punt it away here. He signals for a fair catch. He did the right thing, concentrated and caught the ball. So we've reached the end of the third quarter with the Falcons ahead of the Cowboys. 61, 28. Dallas, 28. The teams are set for the fourth quarter of play. Maybe three yards on the delay. Three yard gain on the play. The quarterback is back in the shotgun. Ball on the 24 yard line. Hunts with the pass. The 
pass ball's incomplete. That looked like a catch until he got nailed. Yeah, so good it knocked the ball right out of his hands. Seven yards to go. We got nothing. Bust his grill, D. Bulldog under. Set. Let's go. Come on. You got it. Huh? Coming. Great play in the backfield by number 95. No chance to get it off as they close on him very quickly. The defensive coordinator teaches his guys to be a very aggressive out there on defense. He has a lot of confidence in the cornerback, and he's willing to leave them out there in single coverage on an island. So they'll blitz on just about any down, looking for a big play. Offense couldn't get it done, and they'll line up the punt. Here's the kick. And he chooses not to return this one. There was no need to try and return that one. But he made the right decision there. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. First and ten. That sets up. Get in the hut. Crosses it left. Coakley created problems in the backfield on that one. Not much there. Second and long. Ball on their own 48. Vic with a man in motion. To the left. Williams holds him down behind the line. He is showing no mercy. He's on anything that moves, and that takedown was his night. Seven defensive backs in on this one. Man in motion. Hand it off to the back. He shakes the defender. Can't bring him down. A five-yard pickup on that one by the tailback. Now let's have a look at what our runners have done up to this point. After going three and out. Here's the punt. He's waving for the fair catch. That's a good job of getting downfield by the cover team to force the fair catch. So they have first and ten here. Ball on their own nine. First and ten. Ball on the nine yard line. Cameron refuses to go down. Carries the ball for three, maybe four yards. The Cowboys line up in the shotgun. Drops back, gets the pass off. Ooh, nearly picked off. Missed opportunity. What the defense is doing is they're watching the quarterback's eyes. They're cluing. They're in position so that whatever happens, the ball is in front of them. And that time, it almost got them an interception. With the pass, the pass ball's incomplete. He just couldn't bring that one in. That's the old rule. If you get your hands on it, you got to catch it. So as we get set for the punt, let's take a look at our returner's stats. I wonder how much leg he has left for the 12th time he's back to punt. He fields the punt and has some open field. He picks up a few yards on the return. Not the coverage team had him wrapped up before he could do anything with it. Only one They'll man back. The drive at the 43 yard line. First and 10. Hit him low. Set. The Falcons using motion. Hut, 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 hut. They give it to the halfback. 
When you have a guy who can carry the ball for over 100 yards a game, you have half of what you need on offense to get to the Super Bowl. It's second down and five to go. That gets set. Cross play to the right. The defender goes down. Gain of about one. And now our viewers can see how successful each team's main running threat has been today. Pressure, throws it right on target. Room to run. Fine. Touchdown, Atlanta. Just an outstanding pass with a spectacular catch. Boy, that was one heck of a touchdown. Those two can't be stopped out there. Feely comes in to attempt the point after. The kick is up. The extra point attempt is good. The last drive, John, went for a touchdown with some excellent play call. Scoring a touchdown not only puts points on the board, it sends a message to the other team that if you execute properly, they won't be able to stop you. And they say 90% of the game is half metal. And the kickoff team comes out onto the field. Number 29. They'll return this one. From the five-yard line. On their last drive, it was three plays and out, and now the offense comes out onto the field once again. Closing in, gets the pass off, almost intercepted. Aggressive play calling that time, but now it's second down. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 23. Play in the backfield. Nowhere to throw at that time. Nowhere to run either. He's got to do a better job of reading the defense before the snap. Then get the ball out to your check down receiver before the rush can get to you. It's now third and long after the snap. Stay They'll go with the quarter defense. It's rid of it. Incomplete. Well, the quarterback did his part. It doesn't help the quarterback's confidence when he gets the ball to his receiver, but he can't hang on. He's got to know that he can count on him to make the catch. Unable to get anything going on that series, they'll have to punt it away here. Here's the kick. Fair catch. Hey, no reason to take a chance and risk a fumble. Smart move there by the returner. Done. The lone back using motion. On the 40 yard line. Hand off to the tailback. Good job up front as the line springs the back for the first down. The thing that happened there was the offensive line did a heck of a job of blocking that blitz. And that allowed the back to get through the line and into the secondary. The backs are lined up in an eye. Ball on the 49-yard line. Man in motion. Let's go, come on! They give it to the halfback. He's over 100 yards in the fourth quarter. You can't ask for much more than that from your back.
It's second down and three to go. Ball on the 42 yard line. With two extra defensive backs, the defense is in the dime. Here comes the blitz. They get the call again, so the halfback gets about two on the draw. Only one man in the backfield. Play to the right. Stiff arms the defender to the ground. And he just gets by the first down marker. Nice job on the toss that goes for a first down. First and ten. Ball on the 38 yard line. play of this drive. They give it to the halfback. Four-yard gain there. With the carry. Gain of four on the play. The offense lines up with split backs behind the quarterback. On the 34-yard line. Bring the pay. Man in motion. Pressure coming. And he's brought down in the backfield. Vic just ran out of time. That was just a relentless pass rush. They got off their blocks quickly, and they did a good job of running them down. They're looking now at third and long after the sack. Going to the left. A yard, maybe two on the count. Gain of two on the play. Swinton is the deep return man. Here's the punt. And he signals to the fair catch. No return here. Back it comes to the 20. First and 10. Get in there. Hutchins sets up. Cross play to the left. What a collision. Gain of a couple on that carry. So after that run, we can see how the two main threats on the ground have fared so far. Here comes the blitz. Almost picked off. John, that went right off the defender's fingertips. I'll tell you, he did almost everything right on that one. He was able to read the quarterback's eyes. He got himself in good position to make the interception. But when it got to him, it just bounced off his hand. Stay up. Stay up. Third and nine. Ball on the 21-yard line. With the throw, and it's caught. Right on the mark there to move the chains. And the thing is, the secondary looked a little on their heels on that one. They just couldn't converge on the ball in time. And now they get a whole new set of down. Pass play here on first down. Under pressure. Gets rid of it. Drops the interception. John, I don't know how they didn't pick that one off. Yeah, he had an excellent opportunity to end the drive right there. He just couldn't bring it in. Atlanta comes out in their nickel package. Dropping back, gets the pass off, and he hits his target. He took what he was given, completing the pass. Yeah, what you want to do as a receiver who's facing zone coverage is to break into the secondary, find a hole, settle down, and show the quarterback your numbers. That was a good job. Sideline to sideline. 
Drops back. Gets rid of it. Broken up. The incomplete pass brings up fourth down. The intended receiver on the play. Going is back to punt. Russell lines up deep for the punt return. Here's the kick. He signals for a fair catch. That was a smart thing to do with the coverage team closing in for a big hit. Using motion. Get in there, Lon. Number 38. Deep round. Fullback gets the call, picks up about five. Five yard gain on the play. The Falcons come out with four wide receivers lined up tight. Closing in. So they'll lose yardage on that tackle. Ebenezer Ekubon gets to the quarterback once again for his second set. You got to wonder why they didn't start paying extra attention to him after the first set. It's now third and long after the set. Vic sets up. He hands it off. A lot of room to work with. The 30. Beautiful run there. You know, that's exactly how you handle a team that likes to blitz. You run the ball right at him, right there, and then right through him. It's first and ten. They line up in the I formation. The Falcons using motion. Great play in the backfield by Wynn. Lost about two yards. They'll go from the I formation. Ball on the 33-yard line. Far up. Set. That was actually designed for the quarterback to run, and that's just what he did. They need seven. Steps up into the pocket, throws it. No problem picking up the first. Yeah, you know, we talk about putting a ball on a guy. The quarterback put that ball on the receiver perfectly. Only one man back. Ball on the 46-yard line. They wanted to pound it through the middle, but they got pounded for a loss. I'll tell you, that was a perfect time for these guys to call a blitz. They got in there, filled the gap, and brought down the back for a loss. Second and long coming up here. Ball on the 48-yard line. Come on, D up. Done. The lone back. Vic with a man in motion. On the <laughs> Pressure. Gets rid of it. This pass is incomplete. He couldn't bring that pass in. This is one of those guys who's working really hard to improve himself. Every now and then, he'll let one bounce off his hands like that. But most of the time, you can rely on him to make the catch when you really need it. Just about a yard in the way. With the carry, one yard gain on the play.
Moore will come into this game to punt. Swinton will go back to accept this punt. He's waving for the fair catch. And this will be a touchdown. Only one man in the backfield. Man in motion. Going to the air on first down. With the pass, hits him in stride. Nice pass and good catch on that play. The pass was fired in there so hard, I think he left smoke in the ball. Pressure coming, rowing. The 40. Ooh, what a stiff one. Hutchinson could have well over 400 yards passing before this one is over. So they have first and 10 here. A lot of room to work with. Loses the defense. The 40. Good run there to move the chains. And what happened there was the defense didn't wrap up well. They just can't try and knock the guy out. They have to wrap when they tackle. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. He's closing in on a hundred yards rushing. They'll go from the I formation. Flings it to the outside. Into the open. Now here it is. He shows a lot of determination in getting to the ball carry on this one. Look at how he fights off the blocker, and he makes a heck of a play to bring him down. First and ten. Ball on the 19-yard line. Dropping back. Under pressure. Gets rid of it. The defender brings him down at the 10. The receiver did a nice job creating some separation, enabling him to make the reception. The defense needs to keep track of that guy a little better. He can make that kind of grab anytime. Hutchinson sets up. Closing in. Throws it. Touchdown, Cowboys. It's almost as if he's scoring at will. That's his third touchdown catch of the day. Kundit comes in for the extra point. And it's up. The extra point attempt is good. And so the offense is able to drive the majority of the field and finish with a touchdown. Can't argue with the result. And a touchdown was the result that they were looking for. This offense can put it together. The onside kick is really their only option here as they look for a good bounce. The onside kick is off, and they have it. On their last possession, they did a great job moving the ball through the air on their way to the end zone. And you'd expect to see the same thing here until the defense proves they can defend against the pass. Pressure. Turn. He found a soft spot on the defense and was right there to make the catch. The thing about a pass like that 
is it cuts down on the time the defender has to react to where the ball's hit. The backs are lined up in an eye. Gets rid of it. This one falls incomplete. He overthrew the target. That pass was clearly overthrown. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on their own 48. Hutchinson with a man in motion. Uses the pump. Going long to the left. Loses one tackle. The 10. Touchdown. Cowboys. Antonio Bryant continues to put on a dazzling show. And with that touchdown catch, his total today is four. So they'll try to tack on the extra point. The kick is up. The point after is good. The Cowboys still find themselves in a very deep hole. This game has pretty much been decided. They can even bring in the backups if they want. Good job moving the ball the length of the field for the touchdown. Big players make big plays, and that scores touchdowns. Give some credit to the linemen out there. They're the biggest guys in the field, and without them, no one gets into the end zone. Kundit sets up for the onside kick. Number 20, onside kick. They don't get it. They just need to eat up clock now because they have this game pretty well in hand. They'll start the drive at the 42-yard line. First and 10. Hand it off to the back. That's a three-yard game. With the carry. They need seven. There's a flag on the play. Dead ball. Dead ball. Let's, Let's start, start on the offense. Number 38 was flagged for the false start. False starts are kind of frustrating because they're really easily avoided by just maintaining focus. It's now second and long after the penalty. Two minute warning coming up. Done. Singleton with the stop at the 42. The back picks up about two on that carry. That gets set. Two minutes to go. Third and long. Ball on the 42-yard line. Set. Get up. Get up. Done. Runs through the tackle. Just about a yard in the run. One yard gain on the play. They couldn't get another first to run out the clock. They'll have to punt. Offense struggles, you know the punt team will see a lot of action, and that's really been true today. Here's the punt. Andy waves for the fair catch. <laughs> Only one man in the backfield. Drops back. 
taken down in the backfield. He read the blitz, just couldn't get rid of it in time. When the defense brings extra guys in a rush, you have to make your reads more quickly. You probably have time to look at your first read, maybe even your second, but you got to get your hot receiver pretty quickly involved or you're going to take shots like that. John, the offensive strategy just not working. It's the third pass they've had picked off. This one is just about in the books. After the interception, they'll take over a good scoring position. On the carry, and he stopped at the five-yard line. Well, he's shaken up after that play, and we'll get you a report from the sideline when we get the information. Second and goal. Ball on the five-yard line. So they've had a lot of success so far in the red zone, and they'll try, obviously, to continue that here. With the carry, the running back gets about three. So after that run, we can see how the two main threats on the ground have fared so far. So now we have third and goal. Two yards to the goal line. plug up the hole. At that time, there were no holes at all. Feely will try to come through with the field goal here. Another field goal, and that's his sixth. As we take a look at his success returning kicks, we get ready for the kickoff. Here's the kickoff to us. He is lined up for the kickoff. Number 80. And a short kickoff. From the 11-yard line. Give the defense a lot of credit on that last possession as they were able to force the interception. Let's see what happens this time. The Cowboys line up with two backs behind the quarterback. Bust this grill, deep. Set. Looking downfield, gets the pass off. They'll bring him down at the 25-yard line. They'll probably try one long throw downfield. First and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. Throwing on first down. Pressure coming. Going for six. He made the catch. Touchdown, Cowboys. Kunda comes in to attempt the point after. And it's up. The extra point attempt is good. The final score is Atlanta 71, Dallas 49. 
71. Dallas, 49. This is Al Michaels with John Madden saying goodbye for EA Sports.